Welcome to the Big Break, our competition to find Dubai's small and medium-sized business most in need of a leg up and most deserving of a leg up. The prize, let me remind you, a quarter of a million dirhams worth of advertising on the Arabian Radio Network and free business setup and free office space for a year at Dubai Airport Free Zone. We have shortlisted 20 companies and over the next 10 days or two weeks, so they are going to be going head to head. Each night, one company will go through to the next round. One company will be going home empty handed our two companies this evening let me tell you later on we'll be hearing from Devayani Dial of She Moves Company which specialises in active wear but now it's a real pleasure to welcome into the Dubai Eye studio our first contestant he is Charles Al Mamari the Vice President of Trade and Services as Pax, Pax Kent International now Charles after you've had your two minutes to tell us about your business we are going to throw some questions at you but first of all the floor is yours tell us about your business Pax Kent International and why you deserve to win the big break. Thanks Richard, Tim, Edward, good evening. Winning the big break will help us launch a brand new product and expand into the Gulf, India and key world cities. The key product that we will bring to market (coughs) under our new brand is wooden furniture. The furniture will carry expected features Superb design from some of Dubai's best designers. High quality craftsmanship from Dubai's best furniture makers and joinery companies. And use of good materials and be environmentally responsible. It will also offer something special. Something that others don't offer. Something that will enable us to drive many benefits to the customers, such as a real substantial money back guarantee plan. Customers can create their either own private or public portal in Cyberland where they can react with the furniture, watch it grow and appreciate in value, watch it win prizes including cash and have the ability to record events and memories. For hospitality customers we're going to be able to leverage our furniture so that it can create new revenue streams for for those uh, venues and also help enhance their hospitality plan. Charles, your two minutes is up. Thank you very much indeed. I'm now going to bring in our judge tonight and indeed all of this week, no stranger to Dubai Eye. He is the co-chairman and founder of Investors Middle East and North Africa, Edward Roderick. Edward, thanks for being with us. Yeah, pleasure to be here. Richard. Edward, a former chief executive of a FTSE listed company in the UK, knows an awful lot about business. Edward, the first question to you. Yeah, uh, the first thing I wanted to understand, Charles, is where does this uniqueness come from? Because there is lots of wooden furniture out there in all of its different forms, whether it's garden or internal furniture. Yes, but how much of that wooden furniture is going to earn you money, win, win you prizes? And how is it going to do that? It's going to do that because we're going to embed into the furniture uh, uh, electronic tags. And those electronic tags are going to be able to communicate through our systems uh, onto the, on, into the net and also we can drive different campaigns. It will also enable us to serve and maintain that furniture uh, for the customer, keep it in incredibly good condition and beautiful. Just explain that revenue generating element of it again. I understand that you can track them from having them RFID tagged or whatever. Yeah. But what is going to be the revenue generation for the client? Well, here, for, for, for example, for our loyalty customers, we're not going to give away a floppy 30 day warranty, get money uh, back guarantee. We're going to give plans that are going to uh, give up to 40, 30 percent over a two year base. We don't have just a P&L uh, pressure. We also have a balance sheet to look after. We're going to put uh, a portion of the funds into something like the national bonds. The numbers that we, we, we draw on behalf of the customers could possibly win the customers' uh, uh, prizes and revenues. For the hotel industry, we'll be able to put chips in chairs. For imagine... The hotel could say to their customers, when we reserve you a place, we really reserve you a place. The same table and the same chair you sat at last time. 
And by the way, since you were last here, Tom Cruise, uh, Shakira, and Charlie L. Marmory have sat in the same chair. Your chair is waiting for you. Talk to me about the people involved in this venture. We're very keen to know about some of the individuals, the managers, the founders, some of the innovators and technicians. The people that are going to be involved in this, uh, the people that are predominantly already within Pax Kent, our staff, we have a superb uh, uh, bunch of people that work hard and are really thrilled about this. We're going to need to bring in extra resources in terms of areas where we're weak, such as merchandising. We've already talked to many of the, the designers out there and they want to give us help and they want to get you know, their ideas known worldwide. Uh, Charlie, in, in terms of sales and marketing, how are you going to put this, uh, how are you going to place the product? How, how's it going to be, how are you going to get the perception of this um, quite unusual um, Tom Cruise seat across to people? <laughs> how are we going to do it? We want to do it, uh, we, we're going to need to make a noise about it. And I think that this is special enough and different enough to make a noise. I mean, your chair not only feels great, it also talks to you. That's something that's different. We need to hit our target market. We feel that Dubai Eye, and especially as I, as I know it, through the business channel, will hit our market, hit our target audience. They are the businessmen within the, the hospitality sector who I know listen to the program. They're also probably going to be the husbands of the women who, uh, uh, of the, the wives who are going to take the final purchasing decision in this type of item. It's going to be a, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's a high-priced item. Tell, it, me, tell me how much it's going to cost. Uh, the, we've, we've benchmarked at around about 6,000 dirhams for a set. Now, that's going to differ. It's going to go up and down. You've got different styles to consider. You've got different elements, and you've got different qualities of wood. Uh, you sit within a, a, a business that has a multi-product focus to it, and in fact, in a multi-business business. Mm. Uh, why particularly pick this as, a, as your focus, and what sort of sales growth are you expecting to get from this to make it sit differently in the group than the rest of the activities you do? That, 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 that's a great question, Tim. And within all of that, the, all the varied skills and elements we have in the group bring to bear, and, and in particular help me. When I have questions, if I want to know something in architecture, I can speak to our, our president and he can help me. So we've got lots of disciplines to call on and to help. I am responsible for a division that looks after wooden flooring, robots, sustainable buildings and power monitoring. It's my responsibility and accountability to drive and build that uh, division. And I've got the, uh, the leeway to be able to do that as I see is best in consultation with So you're boss. expecting explosive growth out of this? And if you are, what sort of rates of growth are, are you forecasting? I, I want the business break to help me bring to life a brand. That brand is going to help us build a network. That network is going to generate at least about $50 million in the over the next five years. From that, we're looking at returns. Because of the way we're setting this up, we're looking at returns that could possibly hit around 18 20% range, which I think in the industry that this is all about is very good. Charles, we're running out of time. You've got to tell me about these underwater robots. For the past two weeks since your application came in, <laughs> your company, in less than 10 words, wooden flooring, underwater robots. Where do the underwater robots come into this? Do you know, uh, the underwater robots look at my target market. We have three sectors for that. We have swimming pools, we have commercial, which is the biggest swimming pools, and we've got the industrial locations like Burj uh, Khalifa. The swimming pool range is going to fit and tuck nicely into the retail range to the people who, <coughs> excuse me, to the people who are going to buy our beautiful cyber-based furniture. That's where it tucks into that. I want to tell you more, and I would love you to help us get going and launch something special 
and different. Well, Charles, on memory, it's been a great pleasure talking to you. Your 10 minutes are over. Listen, um, well, our next contestant is coming in shortly, and then myself and Tim and Edward are going to get our heads together and to decide whether you or Devayani Dial are going to go through to the next round. As always, it'd be great to get some feedback from you, the listeners, the audience. Any thoughts on our contestants this evening? What do you think of Charles Almamory and his idea for furniture and Pax Kent International? Send us a text message, 4001. Always good to get you part of the conversation. But for now, Charles Almamory of Pax Kent International, thanks very much indeed. Thank you.